Exercise 1. Christmas Activities. Listen to the talk and complete the notes. Write no more than three words for each answer. The Christmas season begins very early in Britain. By the end of October, you may see Christmas decorations in the streets and Christmas cards and gifts in the shops. Traditionally, people start to decorate their houses a week or two before the 25th of December, which is Christmas Day. There are a lot of traditions connected with Christmas. The most important one is the giving of presents. Family members wrap up their gifts and leave them at the bottom of the Christmas tree to be found on Christmas morning. Children leave a long sock or stocking at the end of their bed on Christmas Eve, the 24th of December, hoping that Father Christmas will come down the chimney during the night and bring them small presents, fruit and nuts. They are not usually disappointed. Sometimes on Christmas Day, the family will sit down to a big turkey dinner and Christmas pudding. Later, in the afternoon, they may watch the Queen on television as she delivers her traditional Christmas message to the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. If they have room for even more food, they may enjoy a piece of Christmas cake or eat a hot mince pie. The 26th of December is also a public holiday, Boxing Day, and this is the time to visit friends and relatives or watch football. Exercise 2. Trip to Stonehenge. Listen to the conversation and fill in the missing information in the notes below. Hi, Sue. How was your weekend? Oh, really good. I went to Stonehenge with my host family. Stonehenge? Yes, that's right. Have you ever been there? Yes, I went there last month. I really enjoyed it. Me too. Stonehenge is the best known and probably the most remarkable of prehistoric remains in the UK. Yes, it has stood on Salisbury Plain for about 4,000 years. You know there have been many different theories about its original use. Yes, I know. My host father told me that one of the theories is that it was a place from where stars and planets could be observed. Yes, but no one is really certain why it was built. One of the things people have discovered is the positions of some of the stones relate to the movements of the sun and moon, so that the stones could be used as a calendar. That's interesting. Did you go to Oxford, too? It's not far from Stonehenge. No, we didn't because of the time. My host family had to be back before three in the afternoon. Oh, what a pity. You should go sometime. It's very interesting, too. Yes, I hope I can sometime.